Okay. So I start learn Kung Fu like from and uh, seven years old. Of course, at that time, I just like uh, learn practice by push. My father pushed me to practice. I don't know any about Mushu or something. <coughs> this, this is to uh, after the, the middle school, I was watching the Shaolin movie and started building my Kung Fu skill and, uh, and become a very naughty kid <laughs> and I break all the discs <laughs> and uh, the wall is broken because everybody knows how to pump and kick, you know. I was really, I was a really bad student. <coughs> After middle school, I didn't finish. I just <coughs> almost finished the middle school, but I ran away. I tried to do uh, business. Uh, and for that, my father was really, you know, I, I broke my, my, my father's dream. My father wanted me you know, uh, learn more, get more education. And I'm not really focused that way. Uh, my father actually punched me. And suddenly, suddenly go to the, the boat, let me go to the boat to work. I still remember this really, it's hard job for me. I was like a, 14, 15, like around that. So it's like a, a long bamboo, make something you go to the water to take the sand, you know, for the building. You know, so the sand from the water is very deep. You don't, you don't have a machine, so you need a hand, you know. I'm not strong enough to so always, my body's wet, always wet. So I, I got a rheumatism for that. Everybody understand the rheumatism? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> after like a half a year, my father asked me, say, do you want to go to school again? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do? I said, I just, you want me to choose? I just want to learn Kung Fu. So my father gave up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remember like a, he, uh, you know, in that time, like in 1980s, like you cannot find a kung fu school. It's very hard for for for, for me to find a kung fu school. And uh, then my father heard about, and uh, from uh, Jiangxi province, it's near our place, uh, Jiangxi province, around uh, like uh, more than 100 kilometers. And my father, very early morning, my father take me there and back. Because no bus, no, I uh, just walk whole day. We went to the big mountain to find the master. When I was seven years old, I learned from him. So he, he took me there to find the master. Uh, I was a big mountain in a very huge tree there, you know, I still remember. It's still memory for me. Well, when I got there, the master passed away. <laughs> and his son is teaching. I saw there are like four students there with him. And at that time they work, you know, and the evening and the very, very early morning they are practice. So like that way, you have to have a master to work, you know, and uh, to, to work in the land. Like, uh, I still want to learn from him. It's only one, one thing we cannot do it is because every month I have to give the master 30 kilos, 30 kilos rice. You know, the big mountain is very poor there, no rice. So they don't want money, no money, they get rice. Every month I have to 
carry 30 kilos, <laughs> 30 kilos rice with walk by by foot like a, more than 100 kilo kilometers. This for me is impossible. And my father, my family, no one of time for that. So I lost the chance. I was so upset for that. You know, that I come back at home. Uh, suddenly, my father said, you go to school, man. Okay, I said, no. Now I work in the steel the boat again. And uh, since 1988, 1988, I was 17. And my, uh, my brother found an uh, advertisement talked about the Kung Fu school. You know, he take one and he show me this is the Kung Fu school, and uh, my dream start again. <laughs> and suddenly there, and the first class, I remember, first class, my father brought me there. My father was sit there, this color, I was practice here, and every, everybody in the class, already some students there, they're training, they saw the Kung Fu, you know, kids, kids, and I like it. The most of the time they keep like the basic training like one hour. And the teacher and the, and the push me there to Mahabu. You do Mahabu, okay? Now I will stay there Mahabu. My father was sit there and look at me at the Mahabu. Like around like a, maybe ten minutes or fifteen minutes, I don't know. It's just like oh shaking. It's something I remember it's something. Okay? I was falling down. You know, in the ground, the teacher come to kick me like this. You know. <laughs> my father was there. You know, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. You know, I get up, I see there again. As muscle, you know, no feeling anymore. My knee. You know, I have rheumatism. If I don't have rheumatism, I still cannot do this muscle like that. You know, it's so crazy training. Now I fall again. And he come with this big stick, you know, like beat me. You are not good, you know, you are stupid, you cannot do my pool, like. <laughs> you know, I'm really afraid of the teacher, you know. If they beat you, you cannot say anything. My father also never. Uh, after the class, I cannot work anymore. When they finish the kicks, everything, and they told me get up, I cannot get up anymore. I just like that. I cannot move anymore. And come two people and carry me like that. <laughs> my leg like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. My father was there. My father was there. I was 17. Uh, after that, I cannot walk anymore. I cannot walk com completely. I don't feel my leg anymore. And two of my brothers and carry me, put me on the bed. You know, and my father said, "You can hold it. We go home, okay?" I said, "No, no, I don't want to go home." He said, "I carry you go home, okay? You cannot stay here." You can. uh, and the next day, my father was sleeping on me, and uh, he's, he's in bed. He sleep on another side. In the morning, late, early morning, they run, everybody run, run, you know. Now I try to get up. Uh, I was really pain for my knees, really pain for it's like inside joints have some stone that you know you cannot move. Now I try I still try to get up to, to do one scrub like that. Like this. Now I yeah, I can feel my neck. I just told my father, I said, I'll go to practice. Everybody run away on me, and I go to stretch it and keep like that. Uh, after three days, my father went home. And I stayed there. I trained after three, three months. We have, a, we have a forms competition. Three months form competition. I did the first place. The first place, I remember this is Shao Feng. And the teacher said, when he gave me the paper, 
dua ke <coughs> I'm not problem about that you know I think it's just they just is stuck and I think this is not because I'm stupid you know it's because I have rumors and your teachings was wrong I just want to show you I'm not a bad student so that's why my mind is very strong. I want to train more. Like, and after three years training, uh, my knees still okay, and it's getting stronger, stronger. Never fail again. <coughs> From 19, 1992, I came to Bhutan. I really a magazine talk about it, some kind of internal chi energy, something like, you know, moving is, is really, really interesting for me. I, I came to start for fixing my rheumatism. I think if the, the, this blood, this, this sickness stay there, we never gone, you know. I just need to fix it. That's why I came down. By the time I saw it, was really famous. Um, it's just for fix the movements. Kem Budang first uh, at first the Qigong is like a standing. We see it still doing Mahu punch. It's like a five hundred punch, Mahu A, one thousand is like this kind of punch. Even still much less than one hour, you know. So at first, Qigong is good for your drum. For your drum, you do this. This is the first Qigong, uh, uh, standing Qigong. I still remember when I was like really poor, like was hot. You know? I can't stand. <laughs> Sit there, stand there, oh, my back, my shoulders really sore, really painful. And you, you think it's strange, you know, when we're training, the, the way it's doing this, you see the muscle now, okay, you know. But it's doing this, and behind they are really painful, you know, and the back, they be quite painful. It's painful, oh, sorry. And uh, no more feelings, no feelings, it's just painful, you know. Now we start to see, to do the meditate, we sit, and then my body is really sore, painful, and then my, 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 my leg is really bad when you see them. No feeling. And the beginning, I don't know why, because my flexibility also is not bad. It's good. I can do splits, no problem. Well, two or three, three breaks each side. My leg, my foot there, I can. Split. But I cannot still see back, you know. And every month I try to drink one cup of beer, cold beer, but my bone still pain inside. From under the knee, inside the bone, really pain. After twelve o'clock, after twelve o'clock, they stop it. You cannot do any massage to help. It's inside very deep. I don't know how many, how many, how many years they gone. I think around, around three, three years like that. Around. Because I was in the temple three years, and the school one and a half year. So total we stayed there money in four and a half year training like that. <clears throat> and uh, when I see there, my dead, my, my left, my, my legs dead, I was thinking, why, why like that? I can't understand. You go, I, I have eight Kung Fu brothers, the guys stay in one room, you know, stay in one room. I have to sitting to the meditate every day after class every day. Why? Because I need to fix it. 
my favorite comment is here just for fix that. You know. So I see, I just keep seeing, I keep seeing, I don't feel anything. Pain every day. Pain every day, like that. Then one day, I found something strange is from my, my skin. I think it's some, um, like a, it's like a, uh, and, you know, my is that the water on my skin, my face, I was cut, it's not in there. <coughs> it's still moving. Like it. This is the first the feeling, this is my feeling, my experience. And the second feeling is that my muscle felt up like this. It's like an ice melt, like this. I was scared, like, what's that? I tried to touch it. My muscles still here, you know. So this is the second feeling, and the third feeling becomes, and I feel my my leg not numb anymore. I feel swollen, big. So my feet getting a little bit. I was very negative. Like Thirty-eight, you know, the size. So after that, I can buy forty. So it's getting bigger. My leg, my my foot, my feet. And uh, every time when I do meditate, I feel swallowed body. Very strong, very swallow. I don't know what's that. You know, it's just like that. And one day I tried doing the beer, nothing there. No pain anymore. I don't use my imagination. I don't think anything. You just see there. Complete three years. I was lucky. I was lucky, you know. They just fix it. I was do the acupuncture, punch, the copying, the medicine. I hate that, you know. Even I do the acupuncture, I can do that. I help students do that before, but I hate it. I don't like it. And the copying, use the little blood is come. So it didn't help me. So this is one of my experience I learned this. And after that I slowly, slowly I like this kind of training. And I make all my body more flexible. And then my back pain, the sore gun. You know why my back pain? Because it's crazy training, a lot of crazy training. And 1980 is so crazy. You know you train the heart, you go like a <laughs> and that stick like this, we <laughs> like that. You know? And the also iron head. The iron head. I was training that. You know you know how to train the iron head? It's very easy to go at training. And upside down, put the head on the ground, stay there one uh, half an hour. Then you get up. It's flat. I <laughs> <laughs> use stick like that and go to the walk like this. And after someone hold your leg, two people like that. <laughs> so crazy. Three months. Then you use the bottle like that. no problem, no pain anymore, no pain anymore. Very easy. Three months. If you like, your interest here can teach you. Three months. <laughs> the bottle like that. Like that. And I must stick. Right. The damage a lot. The neck damage a lot. You know, you 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 see there and I, a lot of breaks here, I use the hammer. So for performance. Of nineteen eighties is so crazy in China, this kind of training. Hurt a lot of people, damage a lot of people. That was a really, really bad training. My leg, I can put down my leg this side, no feeling. The winter, because here it's so cold in the morning. It's so cold. Like in the winter, it's pain here. Pain. Like you touch, you don't feel yourself. You know, from the training, you know, that kick you, you kick me, and you see, every day training like that. For the fighting, I fight, you kick me, not pain, you know, like this. And I do the 
this graph like between. I can so many script things. But this kind of training is different like it, you know, the traditional training. It's not traditional training. Traditional training build muscle. It's not like the traditional training build muscle like this. You know, the muscle very strong and very solid. Another kind of training is fast, but it depth. I have a lot of injuries in my back, in my, 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 my body. This from this country, from the 1980s. So that's why I always say I, uh, I was lucky. You know, I figured out the training was wrong. And I fixed it when I was young. So, very lucky. I came now, I understand a lot. I was staying in Pippa Heaven three years, learning a lot. I was doing the chanting, reading, chanting the most is reading the body, the Taoist classical body. I, even I don't know what, what they say. So there's no more the meaning, but I still keep doing that. You know, three, three years like that. But this is a good chance for me to learn more about the philosophy in Yang, in Yang philosophy. You know, I understand a lot. And in the second floor, I was in the, you know, the first floor, and there's, there's, there's some, the Taoist doctor is in front of me, in, in, in the third floor. And I always go there to talk to, to him. He's still here, he's still here, he's like it maybe 86 or something like now. He was a really good doctor. I talked to him a lot about the, the rheumatism and the sickness, like it, you know, learned a lot from him. And most of most time, he just do meditate, try to read his own meridians. Now he read and he already got the book and thought about the meridians, how to work. That's why I believe it's something and it inside our body is worth it. You know, I, I, have, I have the feeling when I, when I was training, when I was young, I, I already, you know, could feel it. And from 19, 1995, I started to teach. You teach only kids. No adults, it's just kids. Uh, until uh, the until uh, 2004, I opened my own school. So until now, I was teaching. So I have. I have to and uh, study more <coughs> about the, the human being, the human beings and uh, health. That's why I you know I told you I said I have some experience about and uh, how to cultivate it from the health. So I I make four things. So how does people say, oh, I'm training, maybe I'm doing something, just just to improve my health. No. Uh, you have to know how to eat and how to sleep, how to train, <coughs> and also how to fix yourself. Happy. A lot of people, they're not, they, even training, they're not in balance. They're training, they're going to crazy. Going to do something, eat something, whatever. And someone training, they just, you know, cannot control the emotion. Someone training, they cannot control their desires. You know. Because this, this is, cannot really improve your health. Now, 
So you need four things to do together. Now, I'm pretty sure in one year you will, your body will change a lot. So in three years, maybe you completely change. Remember the four things, okay? 